That's the Xeno Y prize. And I really hope you guys enjoy this. Three, two, one, go! Yahoo! Alright, yeah. Um, Steven kind of really picking his shots, really good. Mario is allowed to uh, kind of run and rough shot against Bowser. But the one time Bowser gets a, uh, a hit in, it's going to be pretty tough going for Mario, especially if he gets him off stage. Cosmic Bean not quite reacting to the fact that. Ooh! Just went super high to the flood. I don't think that uh, Mario Up Smash is going to kill off this percent without any charge, but now dead. You gotta be careful when you're landing on Mario like that. Uh, bad. An up smash trade will definitely be the end of your stock if you're not careful. I wanna see some run up uh, pivot up smashes from Roboto. But you know what? That up smash just as good. Even off the stage. Oh man, that uh, the Bowser box spike. Not a super strong hitbox, but if it, uh, if it had been any other part of the Bowser bomb, it definitely would have killed. And it's essentially even at this point. Cosmic just needs, just needs to get two or three hits for it to be totally. Yep, there it is. The up throw into forward air. The Bowser classic. The holdover from Smash Four. Oh, you see Steven like miss uh miss spacing some of his uh, hitboxes. Not doing the he fast fell that uh forward air which caused him to just plop down in front of a Bowser and just leave a bunch of MY. So Bowser's up B can be a really good option, especially when your opponent is expecting one of the small pokes. Because a lot of people autopilot uh jump out of shield against Bowser. Because they don't want to get side B like that. Because they're standing in shield too much. Uh, but you gotta kind of train them to do that. If you do up you too much, especially like in raw situations like that, without any kind of interaction first, uh, it can cause you to take a lot of damage and lose stocks pretty frequently. Alright, so we have Steven here looking for the down air. And the side B, whipping the up smash just barely, causing him to lose his stock super early. Well, not super early, kind of early. Oh wow, and a really good, uh, a pretty decent F smash coming off from Steven, but he didn't uh, space it well enough, so it wasn't a sweet spot. And he's kind of just not in a great situation right now. Uh, literally, Bowser can sneeze on him at this point, and he'll be close to death if not dying. Yep, and right there we saw that because uh, Steve was holding into the stage, he got hit by the Bowser bomb, so he just bounced off of the stage instead of being spiked. The game assuming that uh, he would go straight down, instead he went left because he was trying to get back on the stage. And we have a fighting chance here. But you know, those forward airs, real dangerous. If Bowser touches you with those, you're dead. If Bowser grabs you with side view, you're dead. If Bowser up tilts you, you're dead. But it's up to Cosmic B to land that hit, and Mario is super agile. Forward air at the ledge will also do it. Alright, very well played for Cosmic B. And now uh, Steven's counterpick and see what he can do to bring this back. Let's see what his bands are, or their bands are. I don't know this person. I don't know who Cosmic B is. Alright, so they banned uh, Battlefield and Yoshi Stories, both really good bands against Mario. Uh, Mario Infamous. For being able to do up air, up air onto a platform and then void air. The majority of the cast doesn't require that much. Um, it has a very wide window for most characters, Bowser especially. And Bowser doesn't have like the best vertical recovery, so like even if he, uh, even if he survives the initial hit and has his uh, second jump, he might not necessarily be able to make it back on battlefield particularly. 
On Yoshi's, he's probably dead if he gets hit with that combo. Alright, so Town and City, a pretty good choice for Mario. He does have platforms that allows him to move around pretty quickly. Uh, it has a fairly high roof, which can be a bit of a detriment to the character, but it does uh, make up tilt kills a lot less likely, and it does give a little bit more flex room for if you get a side move. Steven is kind of... he's he started giving uh, Cosmic Blue the space he kind of deserves, and he needs. Uh, which can be both a good and a bad thing. Uh, we've seen Cosmic B multiple times kind of throw out raw uh, special moves that are a little laggy. Which isn't a great habit when you're playing Bowser. Uh, but it can be really good to do. Especially like if you're trying to scare your opponent into making a mistake. And, oh man, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a forward but that was really nice! Oh my goodness, these Mario combos, dude. And he went too deep. Uh, he might have been able to have made that back if he had mashed it perfectly, but that's pretty tough to do. I'm expecting a uh, side B to come out for Kong in the second now to finish off the stock. Uh, Steven, you can see like he kind of changes gears when he's at like a high percent. He's like, yeah, I don't want to jump around you because I know Bowser can up tilt and usually scope out like any bad approaches like that. And he changed back like the second he lost the stock in the uh, I want to see Steven like stop going near the ledge, going off the stage when he starts getting pressured by Bowser because he's lost most of his stocks to interactions by the ledge. From Cosmic B just doing forward air because Bowser's forward air is really hard to, uh, it's really hard to kind of scope out and to avoid if, uh, if you're playing with such a limited amount of space. Oh, dude, you can see like uh, Cosmic B had that perfectly. Get the edit out. That definitely opened the stock in the F smash. He got the sweet spot by poking it out. Very well done. Alright, you got the uh, boilerplate Barrio combos. And you see, like, he waited to see if he was going to do some kind of, uh, if he was going to do an aerial uh, option that would get him back to the ground quickly. Steven holding a pretty significant lead, officially lapping Cosmic Heat. And percent in another really well spaced uh, Mario F Smash. You want to be super careful with how you approach Mario from the air, especially. As Bowser, who has a lot of M line. Steven, super hard read there. Very well done. Alright, so we have Cosmic B's um, counter pick. Town and City not necessarily a bad stage for uh, Bowser. Overall, probably the biggest um, the biggest hindrance in it is the fact that like it gives Mario a lot of space to move around. To the point that if uh, if he wants to play a super keep away, he can. And looks like we're going to PS2 next. Alright. So overall, Stevens are playing pretty aggressive, all things considered, uh, the matches so far. Um, so is Cosmic, but the main difference is the way that they want to play the matchup is extremely different. Uh, Steven tries to play uh, kind of, not necessarily a cool game, but he's trying to play evasive enough to make Cosmic B swing and miss at really inopportune moments and hopefully get like a super hard punish. Um, he's seemingly caught on to the fact that, like, Cosmic does a lot of options landing onto the, uh, the stage when he's in his advantage, which is really easy to do. And Cosmic calling out good rolls away. Uh, whenever Steven is feeling pressured, he has a tendency to just kind of go towards the ledge, which is a, ver a habit that Cosmic's been doing a really good job of uh, punishing consistently. Oh, and he just jumped right on top of that. He had a second jump too, so he could have made it back. You can see like the one time that uh, Steven jumped in front of Bowser, he got punished for it super hard. He's got to be more careful with how he um, with how he jumps into this character. Because up tilt is just really good at, uh, at taking Mario's stocks if you're not paying attention, if you're not being careful with uh, how you use your resources. And that side beast definitely going to do it. He could have pulled back almost all the way and that would have definitely been stopped.
All right, so Steven trying to play a little more patiently, it seems like. And Cosmic B is just like, yeah, now you have to approach. I have the lead. And there's literally no reason for me to do it, to, for me to come near you. Of course, when you're pressuring your opponent, it's always good to keep pressuring them. Alright, good, good Super Mario Jump. Cosmic B was a little bit too close to the ledge there, so he got punished pretty hard for doing that. Oh my goodness, these these F-Smashes, dude! Steven just keeps like getting these really good F-Smashes because Cosmic B is doing down air, or is just doing moves on landing, which is really risky as Bowser. Sometimes just landing with nothing can be a lot better than, uh, than going for like a super heavy move, but if you catch your opponent's initial dash like that, it can be very appealing to do it. All right, good down there to catch the the roll in or the spot dodge. This is Steven's uh, stock to lose right now. You gotta be super careful with how he uh, approaches the rest of his uh, of the stock because this could be the thing that keeps him. And that's death. That's 100% death. This could be the thing that uh, that really defines the rest of the match. How he approaches this low percent for the next uh, for the next minute or so. All right, Steven getting him into the air. So we're not really seeing like as many defining like hits coming from Steven as we have from the last match. Like, he hasn't gotten like the super big interactions throughout this match so far that he got in on town and city. Oh, okay, interesting use of the down air. Uh, he was hoping that uh, Cosmic E would, would air dodge out, but he didn't get pick up the punish obviously if he wanted. And another F smash coming in, uh, coming in, almost taking the stock. Oh, and a really good up smash. Well spaced there. He read Cosmic B super well, but he wasn't able to actually seal the stock. Bowser is super heavy, and up smash is a lot weaker in this game than it has been in uh in the past two Smash games. Okay. I respect the fact that uh Steven hasn't been caught by the Bowser. Guy. All right, and there it is. Mario up smash taking Bowser's second stock. Uh. Honestly, Steven has, it's very doable for him to take his, uh, to take his match, he just has to, he just has to kind of scope out what Cosmic B wants, and take the, uh, and take the initiative, and just get some percent on. Okay, interesting option there. Good weight on the, uh, on the down air. Oh, dude! Not the best, uh, not the best choice there from uh, Steven. Okay, good up airs. I respect it. Yo, let's go. You turning up? Oh, dude! <laughs> and when you initial dash like that, you're not allowed to shield. You gotta be super careful when that was that low. It was not the worst idea to keep following him like that. But Steven just was caught unawares and that ended up costing him the set. Alright, so for our next set we're gonna have... Let's see... We're gonna have uh, Black Mamba versus Bars the Journey. Black Mamba is a Xeno Fight Club uh, regular. HO3K Fight Club regular, sorry. And uh, Bars is one of our casters who hasn't been casting because he doesn't like Wi Fi, but my man's decided to punish himself. So he's coming into the ring. Uh, Black Mamba playing Terry, Bars playing uh, Roy, Pitt, and Ganondorf. I'm assuming Bars is going to go Ganondorf because he's like, Ganondorf is fun on Wi-Fi. Or at least less not fun than his other characters, I guess. I don't know why these guys haven't like picked their character. 